Welcome into New York Giants now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. In today's show, we're going to be answering your guys' questions, but only questions from subscribers. This show aired on our live show. If you want to be featured on the pre the next upcoming mailbags, easy two-step process. Hit that big red button, subscribe to Giants Now, and turn your notifications on so you can be alerted anytime we go live on the channel. Are you subscribed? If not, change it. Hit that sub button, click the bell icon, and select all so you can be notified anytime we go live on the channel. Fluffy Rod says with a $5 super chat, should the Giants consider bringing back Alex Bachman? I just think that that boat has sailed. I do. I don't think that that is legitimately a possibility anymore. I think Alex Bachman had the opportunity to sign to the Giants practice squad, and he said no. And he said no. Um, I think that Alex Bachman wanted a final 53 roster spot. Had some really big games in the preseason, and he was upset. He thought he did everything right to make this football team, and with the Giants not making him on the 53, I think he was upset. And he declined the practice squad spot. Now he's a free agent. I don't think that there's really an opportunity for Alex Bachman to come back, unfortunately. Brandon, what up, fam? If we end the season above high 500, and you got a shotgun a tall boy. <laughs> How about this? Giants win a playoff game, I'll shotgun a tall boy. How about that? Giants win a playoff game, I'll shotgun a tall boy. Right now, if the season ended today, the Giants would face off against the Seattle Seahawks in the playoffs in Seattle. Tough game, no doubt about it, but 100%. A winnable game. Get back a, he a healthy Evan Neal. Get back a healthy Aziz Ojolari. Get back Kenny Galladay. Ben Bredesen. I think you can win that football game. Adrian, what up, bro? When do you think they should give an extension to Saquon? Saquon, uh, excuse me, Joe Shane spoke to the media yesterday following the NFL trade deadline. And he said if there were any end season extensions going to come, it would come this week, he, he made it seem like he's going to talk to a couple players. If I had to guess who they were, it would be Andrew Thomas and Saquon Barkley. Those are the guys I think that would qualify for an extension. I think he still wants to see more games from Daniel Jones. I think they should give him an extension. Um, I don't know if it comes in season, but if it does, it's going to come this week. If it does, we're going to break it down on this channel, youtube.com slash TV. With the season being already halfway over, I do want to ask this question. We just talked about Saquon. We just talked about Andrew Thomas. I want you guys now to answer this question. The most impressive player so far for the New York Giants through eight weeks as the Giants sit at 6-2 and two during the bye week. I want you to sound off. Who has been the most impressive player so far? What up, Tra Trauma Plukin? Tra Truma Plukin? Trauma Plukin? I'm going to be honest. I don't think I'm saying that right, but I'll answer your question. How about Kenny Galladay and Isaiah Hodgins and Slayton at starting receivers? Giants did just sign Isaiah Hodgins. Kenny Galladay is expected to be back after the bye week when they play against the Houston Texans. I like what Darius Slayton has done the past couple weeks. I mean, when you look at this wide receiver depth chart, if anybody wants to step up, they're going to have an opportunity to do so. I mean, I don't think Marcus Johnson's all that good. I'm surprised he's on this team. Darius Slayton played good against the Packers, had a couple big plays against the Seahawks, had that touchdown against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think Wandale Robinson is becoming the type of player he is. Just a lot to expect, a second-year wide receiver at the type of player he is to excel in this offense. I think when the Giants drafted him, they were expecting to run more of a spread offense, but right now they're running a power run game, and that's what's winning them football games. So I don't think he currently fits this wide receiver type of plan that the Giants have. Look, this is the Giants' wide receiver leaders right now. You have one receiver with over 230 yards, and you have two receivers over 150 yards. In fact, your 6-2 and two is incredible. I want to see more Darius Slayton. I want to see more Wandale Robinson, more Sills, less James, and less Johnson, and maybe Isaiah Hodgins could be a guy that can help this wide receiver unit. I do want to give a shout-out to a new sponsor. Sponsor alert. Woo! Woo! Shout-out to establish titles. They are a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on an historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies. They're calling me Lord Marshy these days because I own, I own property in Edelston, 
Scotland. They will give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot lumber if you get hooked up. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities such as One Tree, tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. You can officially include the title Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane ticket, dating profile. Once I put that on my Twitter profile, my DMs were flooded. Lord Marshy hit me up. And the best part is you get started today at EstablishedTitles.com. The first 200 people to do so will have their tree planted right next to mine, which means we could have a whole village of giants, now real ones. Get, get started today. Show some love to the channel. Help us out. We love you. You love us. Let's make it happen. EstablishedTitles.com slash chat. MT43, does Galladay get a TD against Houston? Freaking hope so, man. He hasn't scored a touchdown so far in his Giants career. I think he's a guy that could definitely help out this wide receiver unit. I don't know if he's ever going to be the player that he once was with the Detroit Lions, but can he be a pro and help out this wide receiver unit? The Giants need. They need a pro wide receiver. Galladay is that. Let's see what happens in the game against Houston. Mike Francis, my guy, a part of the Ring of Honor hard hat. Ring of Honor, I, I said I'd wear the hard hat for the mailbag. I totally messed that up. But Mike Francis, my guy, he's a part of the $100 Super Chat Ring of Honor here on the hard hat. Could OBJ sign a two-year deal, a minimum for this year, and a decent size one for next year? It's a possibility, no doubt about it. Um, I just think Odell is going to sign a one-year deal, show that he's still got the juice, show that he still has that secret sauce, and... Go out and ball out this year, and I think he's going to go out and try to get a lot of money next year. That's what I would do if I was Odell Beckham Jr. I mean, watch the Los Angeles Rams this year. They miss him. That offense sucks without him. Will Giants sign Odell Beckham? If they do, he's going to have to take a major pay cut. Is it a possibility? No doubt about it. OBJ or Joe Shane said that there's been talks about it. He's interested in signing if he's healthy, so we're going to keep you up to date on that. Make sure you subscribe, YouTube.com. Slash NY Giants TV. I'll ask you this question though. Do you want to sign Odell Beckham Jr.? Type OBJ for yes, no BJ for no. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. Do you want to see number 13 back in big blue? OBJ for yes, no BJ. No BJ for no. Jaxcom, what up? Giants versus Bucks and wild card. I don't care who we play. Giants make the playoffs, I'm going to be happy. Who would have thought that the Giants in 2022 would make the playoffs? There was a lot. This was a team that some people thought were competing to be the worst team in the NFL and competing for the first pick to go and draft Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud. I think both those guys are going to be legit, no doubt about it. They ain't going to be Giants. Um, Giants versus Bucks. I'd rather play the Seahawks. Um, I think they can beat the Bucks though. Get pressure on Tom Brady. That O-line in Tampa is a little bit banged up. Giants are a team you don't want to play in the playoffs. Good defense. You don't want to play those type of teams. It's Jello plays with Lamar Jackson likely not to be a Baltimore Raven night next season. Oh, is he not? Do the Giants get rid of Daniel Jones and look at Jackson or not look at Lamar at all? If Lamar Jackson does hit free agency, I know there's some co co uh, contract controversy going on with the Baltimore Ravens. If Lamar hits free agency, the Giants will be interested. And so will every other team in the National Football League that thinks that they could upgrade at quarterback. I don't see Baltimore letting him leave, though. They'll franchise tag him once. They'll franchise tag him again. They might do it a third time. Um, Lamar's a free agent. Hell yeah, I'd want to sign him. But hell yeah, it's going to happen. Corinne, what up? If Cooks walks from the Texans, will the Giants make the call? Texans aren't cutting Brandon Cooks. Uh, he has $18 million guaranteed next season. He has a dead cap hit of $40 plus million in 2023. Texans aren't cutting Brandon Cooks. Um, they could have got out of it by trading him, but they couldn't come to an agreement with anybody. So expect for Brandon Cooks to be with the Houston Texans barring a trade for the next couple of years. Last question for my guy Aaron. I like what the Giants did with McFadden on the edge, Smith playing the middle. Yeah, I like the way that the that Wink Martindale is using these linebackers in diverse ways to get pressure on the passer. I like McFadden as a blitzer. I also like Smith as a blitzer. Um, hats off to Wink Martindale. I thought he's done a great job with this Giants defense. 
Just keep it going. Um, last week, the reason the Giants lost was not because of the defense. They played great. Um, prior to the way this defense played, this defense is legit. Shout out to Wink Martindale. I also appreciate you guys for making Giants now a part of their day today. If you made it this far in the video, you know what to do. Comment real one if you're a real one.